With the current price of Bitcoin hovering around $100,000, let's take a look at the recent price rally and political implications and the future outlook for Bitcoin. I am Jay Scott, aka Crypto Cowboy, and I'm the founder of Freedom Life 3.0, where we help you take control of your financial freedom by helping you invest in high returning alternative assets like cryptocurrency. If you know anybody that might like this video, please share it to them and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. All right, let's get started. All right, so we've got Wyoming Senator Cynthia Loomis, who has sparked a debate by suggesting that the U.S. convert a portion of its massive gold reserves into Bitcoin. With over 8,000 tons of gold on its balance sheet, it's the largest reserve in the world. Now, Senator Loomis believes that it's time to create a strategic Bitcoin reserve. In the meantime, companies are moving to get into Bitcoin before countries start to acquire it. The latest purchase by MicroStrategy and its CEO, Michael Saylor, who is in a record-breaking move, announced the purchase of 51,704 Bitcoin. Now, since the U.S. presidential election on November 5th, when Donald Trump secured victory, MicroStrategy has invested a total of $6 billion in Bitcoin. These aggressive buying sprees have sent shockwaves throughout the market, pushing Bitcoin's price to an all-time high of just above $99,000 and its market cap to $1.8 billion. $1.8 trillion. <laughs> All right, now everyone is feeling pretty bullish right now, and certainly a lot of this outcome is due to the election. We're going to have a very pro-Bitcoin president, and we're going to have a pro-Bitcoin Congress and Senate. So everyone's really excited that the regulatory environment will be much more favorable. And we've also seen many more institutions enter early this year, especially with the approval of the Bitcoin ETFs. Now, this volume is going to drive Bitcoin's price up, and it's been amazing. And it really should usher in the start of this institutional era of Bitcoin. Now, when you zoom out and you take a, a, a bigger look at the macro picture, global liquidity conditions are improving. And if you know, and I've been saying on this channel, it's global liquidity. When money's moving into the system because governments are printing money, that's when Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market take off. So I think we're going to see an adoption of Bitcoin because we're going to see more retail investors, more institutions and countries, sovereign countries, putting Bitcoin on their reserves. Now, once we hit six figures, I think some people, some early adopters are going to take some profits. And so the price may push down a little bit. But many people, including myself, companies like MicroStrategy are holding Bitcoin for the long term because we see it as a way to protect us from currency debasement and monetary inflation. Bitcoin is volatile. It's going to go down, sometimes 50, 60, 70%, but it's the best performing asset with a compound annual interest rate of about 40%. It consistently outperforms everything else. Now, the macroeconomic picture may be still a concern. We're going to have probably continuing to have large deficits. There's going to be high debt. But Bitcoin offers a solution for all of us because if we hit this recession, Bitcoin will decline a little bit, but governments are going to start printing money again. Liquidity will come rushing in, which makes Bitcoin even more appealing because the price goes up. All right. So let's, let's dive into this proposed strategic Bitcoin reserve. Cynthia Loomis explained that it could be balance sheet neutral, suggesting that the U.S. could exchange gold certificates for Bitcoin. Now, her bill proposes acquiring 1 million Bitcoin over the next 20 years. Now, this could happen pretty quickly because with over 200,000 Bitcoin already seized by the government, Senator Loomis's plan to purchase more is feasible. It's just like Michael Saylor said, sell the past, buy the future. Bitcoin is the best form of property. It's indestructible and it's finite. Converting some of the U.S. gold reserves into Bitcoin could address and help our debt situation could set an example for other countries to follow suit. Now, with this new SEC leadership, we're going to see changes that is going to encourage innovation in the crypto space. We've really been held down by Gary Gensler, the current SEC in the United States specifically, causing fear and innovation to be stifled. 
with this new leadership coming in, I think we're going to see a big opening up of the crypto market, new projects. And again, I think Bitcoin's going to lead the way, but we're going to see crypto continue on the rise. You've got this bill, this SAB 121 bill that basically allows banks to custody Bitcoin, which would also broaden the access. And of course, President Biden vetoed that bill. So I think it's going to be one of the first things that's going to get uh, uh, Im implemented by uh, President Trump. And we're going to see banks custodying Bitcoin for us so that more people can just move in and feel comfortable owning Bitcoin and getting involved in crypto. All right. So, you know, price predictions in the short term, that's really hard, but I expect we're going to see six figures really soon. And long term, I believe Bitcoin is going to surpass a million dollars per coin by 2030. It, because it's finite. There's only going to be 20, 21 million Bitcoin. And it's going to offer security against debasement of fiat currencies. I mean, do you want to save your money in a fiat currency in a savings account or a CD that is losing 14% a year? Or do you want to invest your money, your hard-earned money, into an asset that not only will not depreciate like fiat, but it's been going up in price. And with all this demand that we're talking about, the price is going to just go astronomical. It's just physics. With this much demand and only the limited amount of supply, well, it's going to be bonkers, my friend. So I hope you're in, in Bitcoin now in the crypto market. If not, there's still time because like I said, we've got a long, long way to go. So thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.